Good morning, children. Welcome to NEET and AIT, AIPMT Foundation Biology Online Session, Biological Classification. So, we have been discussing about uh, the biological classification. This is the part uh, which include the classification of living organisms. There are several system of classifications have been introduced to uh, study the organisms systematically. The most accepted classification was uh, R. H. Whittaker's five kingdom classification, which include how many kingdom? Five kingdom. What are they? Monera, Protesta, Fungi, Plantae, Animalia. These are the five kingdoms, out of which uh, uh, Monera kingdom are the most primitive unicellular prokaryotic organisms we have completed and uh, about the protista also to some extent uh, some basic characteristic features we have studied let us study in detail about this protista and fungi plantae today okay so characteristic features of kingdom protista what are the general characteristics of uh, this kingdom protista they are simple eukaryotic organisms okay they are simple eukaryotic organisms most of the organisms are unicellular means single celled some are colonial live in groups and some are multicellular like uh, algae okay all of them are eukaryotic Okay, most of the organisms are unicellular, some are colonial and some are multicellular like algae. So, most of the protists live in water means habitat, the habitat of this protist uh, if you take most of them live in water aquatic, some in moist soil or uh, even they live in the body of uh, humans plants means animals and plants means some of them may lead parasitic life okay children these organisms means the protestants are eukaryotic why since they have a membrane bound nucleus and endomembrane systems endomembrane systems means cell organelles with membrane are present that is why they are eukaryotic organisms. They have mitochondria for cellular respiration and some of them have chloroplasts for photosynthesis means some of them are autotrophic, some of them are heterotrophic. The autotrophic protists possess chloroplast in their cell okay? and the mitochondria it is the organelle which involves in the cellular respiration. Okay? So, all unicellular eukaryotic organisms are placed under protista, but the boundaries of this kingdom are not well defined. It acts as a connecting link between Monera and the remaining kingdom that is uh, fungi, plantae and animalia. Okay? They act like a bridge between this Monera and remaining four remaining other three kingdoms. Okay. Next, nuclei of protest contain multiple DNA strands. The number of nucleotides are significantly less than complex eukaryotes. Okay. They are simple eukaryotes. If you take complex eukaryotes means you can consider fungi, plantae and animalia. Okay. Compared to them, in uh, protests, uh, the number of nucleotides in the DNA are less. Okay? Uh, some of these uh, protests can move from place to place. The movement is often uh, takes place by means of uh, flagella or cilia. Flagella or cilia are the locomotory organelles. Protests are multicellular organisms. They are not a plant number. Uh, that is a uh, animal or fungus okay though they are multicellular some of the algae are multicellular we have discussed in the beginning okay 
though they are multicellular they are not uh, like a plant or a animal or a fungus okay that is why they are connecting link between the monirans and uh, these plant anima animalia and fungi okay respiration respiration cellular respiration is the primary it is a primarily aerobic process means in the presence of oxygen it takes place but uh, some of the protest uh, living in uh, marshy soils or mud uh, below the ponds uh, or in the digestive tracts means some of the parasitic protests okay which live in the digestive tracts of animals they restrict uh, facultative anaerobes facultative anaerobes means the presence or absence of oxygen they can survive okay if you take nutrition they can uh, be both uh, heterotrophic or autotrophic there is a uh, uh, not uh, that much diversity in the nutrition which is shown by monira compared to this uh, protestants they are uh, only heterotrophic either heterotrophic or autotrophic in nature some of them may be mixotrophic so they are flagellates some of these protests are flagellates and they are uh, filter feeders okay some protests uh, feed by the process of endocytosis for example amoeba what it will do it surround the food material and it develops a membrane around it the formation of food vacuole by engulfing uh, a prey or a bacteria and extending their cell membrane it is called as a endocytosis endocytosis next uh, characteristic feature reproduction so some of the species have complex life cycle involving uh, multiple organisms that is male and female organisms okay and uh, for example uh, reproduction um, in the plasmodium plasmodium is a protest it is a parasitic protozoan okay and some reproduce uh, sexually and some other uh, asexually means there is a diversity in the reproduction okay they can uh, reproduce uh, either sexually or asexually okay asexually by means of fission they can reproduce by mitosis mitosis is the cell division and uh, some are capable of meiosis so mitosis cell division takes place in the asexually reproducing uh, protests whereas the meiosis cell division involves in the production of gametes uh, especially the sexually reproducing protests they form cysts this is another characteristic feature of these protests when the conditions are not favorable or adverse conditions like uh, non availability of food high temperature acidity or salinity so these uh, extreme conditions uh, they form a cyst over its body and protect themselves that process is called encystation okay some protests uh, are pathogenic pathogenic means which cause disease both in plants as well as in animals for example plasmodium falciparum okay it is a malarial parasite which cause malaria in human beings okay trypanosoma trypanosoma gambiense it cause gambia fever sleeping sickness okay so protists are the major component of plankton so this is a very important uh, you know diatoms diatoms uh, or uh, belongs to this uh, protest uh, chlorophyta okay it is uh, again uh, this protista kingdom is divided into two classes okay chlorophyta and protozoa so this chlorophyta include uh, green uh, diatoms these diatoms will form the floating postures of sea they are called the floating postures of sea they form the layer over the sea and acts as a the primary producers for the number of organisms living in the sea okay they are major component of uh, these uh, planktons planktons means the organisms which float on the surface of water okay the kingdom protista is divided into two phyla what are they phylum chlorophyta and phylum protozoa this phylum chlorophyta include some examples like green algae examples pyrogyra ulva chlamydomonas volvox okay the spirogyra is a um, spiral shaped algae okay and ulva chlamydomonas volvox these are all green algae next red algae porphyra rotalgen it is these two are the examples of red algae then next uh, brown algae brown algae laminaria 
nereocystis these two are brown algae next uh, water molds water molds example saprolegnia saprolegnia is water mold and uh, okay next uh, phylum protozoa it is uh, divided into subphyla based on the locomotory organs ciliata dinoflagellates mastigophora and sarcodina okay these are the exam these are the subphylums of phylum protozoa and the subphylum ciliata example paramecium verticella you know paramecium the paramecium is a unicellular organism okay it uh, move with the help of cilia that's why it belongs to the phylum subphylum ciliata okay it is uh, actually anton van leeuwenhoek they called these uh, protozoans as animal cules okay they are not uh, animals they are animal cules okay this is the paramecium it is a uh, it is also called as a uh, okay, slipper animal cule okay, it shows two nuclei ma macronucleus and micronucleus okay, and if you take verticella this verticella is uh, showing a bell shaped structure okay it is uh, showing a bell shaped structure it is also move with the help of cilia so it is called as bell animal cule verticella is also called a bell animal cule okay dinoflagellates if you take uh, these dinoflagellates are mostly marine and photosynthetic some forms occur in fresh water also in uh, most of the forms uh, these uh, dinoflagellates uh, the cell has a uh, stiff cellulose plates and they are uh, motile with uh, two dissimilar flagellate that's why dinoflagellates two dissimilar flagellate are present and uh, some marine dinoflagellates show bioluminescence bioluminescence means uh, it is nothing but uh, uh, it will glow they will glow during night time okay just like radium bioluminescence and they emit light uh, during night time okay day time also they will emit uh, but uh, we can able to see during night time okay example for dinoflagellates which show the bioluminescence uh, noctiluca and uh, gonalex gonalex okay it is showing and uh, pyrocystis and pyrodinium okay so some of uh, especially this uh, goniolax goniolax it is a uh, red dinoflagellate red dinoflagellate it undergoes uh, such a rapid multiplication that uh, they make its the c appear red red c red tides are formed by this uh, uh, gonalax okay the next uh, mastigophora this um, euglenoidea is also there another one euglenoids occur in the fresh water habitats and uh, damp soils and uh, instead of uh, a cell wall they have a protein rich uh, layer euglenoids so that layer is called pellicle and which makes uh, the boy body very flexible and though they are photosynthetic in the presence of sunlight when uh, deprived of sunlight uh, they behave like heterotrophs example euglena okay even slime molds the fungus uh, animals uh, or uh, acrophilus saprophytic protists are there okay even protista also shows uh, there is a great diversity in the nutrition okay slime molds the protozoans the protozoans may be aquatic some of them are fresh water and some of them are terrestrial and some of them are free living and parasitic okay and sarcodina next mastigophora mastigophora include uh, example trypanosoma and uh, trichonympha and subphylum sarcodina include amoeba pseudopodia with the help of pseudopodia they can move next kingdom fungi so this fungi are eukaryotic achlorophyllous heterotrophic spore bearing non vascular organisms the cell wall of the fungus is made up of uh, a special material called uh, chitin or uh, it is also called fungal cellulose this fungi shows a great diversity in morphology morphology means external structure and habitat habitat means where they live they live in the variety of habitats the fungi are heterotrophic organisms they obtain their nutrients by absorption 
the cell wall of the fungi is mostly made up of uh, a carbohydrate that is chitin while the cell wall of plants is made up of a uh, cellulose okay due to the presence of the cell wall uh, even uh, this fungi include in the plants okay the carbohydrate stored in the fungi is in the form of glycogen the they possess a fruit body basidium or the fruit body of the fungus is uh, only seen while uh, the living body of the fungus is called uh, mycelium it is made up of tiny filaments these filaments are called uh, hyphae fungal hyphae the mycelium is hidden and the nutrition in the fungi is by absorbing nutrients from the organic material okay what they do is uh, the fungal hyphae okay they produce some uh, enzymes and chemicals these enzymes and chemicals break the complex uh, food substances into simplest food substances and they observe okay through special structures called hasturia okay no 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 uh, hasturia they are present in the parasites uh, but in the fungus uh, mycelium with the help of this mycelium only they can observe okay the fungi do not uh, have stomachs they digest their food uh, before it pass through the cell wall into the hyphae okay the hyphae secretes uh, enzymes and acids uh, that break down the organic material into simple compounds okay and um, so if you come to the again uh, characteristic features they are eukaryotic organisms they are non vascular organisms there is no vascular system no xylem phloem or any vessels okay they reproduce by means of spores asexual reproduction units uh, by which uh, they reproduce they are called spores and the depending on the species and the conditions uh, we can observe both uh, sexual and asexual reproduction okay asexual reproduction by means of spores and they are typically non motile non motile okay they exhibit the phenomenon of alternation of generation okay they show two forms sporophyte form and uh, gametophyte form sporophyte form produce the sporangium and uh, the produce the uh, spores different types of spores are produced like uh, sporangiospores conidiospores like that in the fungi whereas uh, uh, the gametophytic stage produce the gametes male and female gametes so always uh, the sporophyte repeats with the gametophyte such type of generation is called as alternation of generation the vegetative body of the fungi may be unicellular are composed of microscopic threads called uh, hyphae uh, next uh, the structure of the cell wall is similar to the plants but the chemically the fungal cell wall is different from plant cell wall because it is composed of a uh, chitin whereas plant cell wall is composed of a uh, cellulose they are heterotrophic organisms so they are non chlorophyllous so that's why they depend on uh, dead and decomposing or uh, other organisms for their food uh, hence they are heterotrophic in nutrition okay next uh, the fungi digest the food uh, first uh, and then uh, ingest the food first they digest the food and then ingest the food uh, to accomplish uh, this uh, the fungi produce uh, exoenzymes the fungal hyphae produce uh, exoenzymes the enzymes which are released outside the body okay the fungi store their food in the form of a uh, glycogen the biosynthesis of chitin also occurs in the fungi the nuclei of the fungi is very small and some of the hyphae the filaments uh, they show multinuclear xenocytic in nature okay the nuclei are very small and during the mitosis uh, the nuclear envelope is not dissolved generally during mitosis cell division the nucleo nuclear membrane will be dissolved and disappear but here in fungi during mitosis the nuclear envelope is not dissolved the nutrition in fungi they are saprophytes or parasites or symbionts saprophytes means which depend on dead and decomposing organisms and the parasites means which live in the host either plants or animals which depend on either plants or animals parasitic then symbionts means uh, some of the fungi they can associates with uh, other organisms for example lichens they uh, they are uh, the fungi associated with the algae then mycorrhiza mycorrhiza is a fungi which associate with the roots of higher plants okay the next reproduction in fungi both asexual and sexual reproduction the sexual state or is referred to as a teleomorph asexual state is referred to as a anamorph 
okay this is about the fungi some examples if you take uh, they are sac like fungi agaricus agaricus it is also called mushroom eustilajo it is a smut disease causing fungi and pakshinia it is a rust fungus pakshinia graminis zygote forming fungi example mucor it is a black mold rhizopus it is the bread mold and albigo is another fungi then fungi imperfecti example alternaria colliter trichum falcatum which causes disease in the um sugarcane plant red rot of sugarcane is caused by this colliter trichum and uh, the trichoderma is another uh, fungi imperfecti okay the next uh, kingdom plantae the kingdom plantae can be defined as multicellular atrotrophic eukaryotes which conduct uh, photosynthesis okay all members of this family comprises of uh, the true nucleus and advanced membrane bound organelles they are quite different from animals the kingdom plantae contains about uh, 3 lakh different species of plants there are above means more than this uh, 3 lakh species of plants uh, some of them we the unknown plants are there okay which uh, we have not named okay and this kingdom plantae among the five kingdoms the kingdom plantae is very important uh, as they are the source of food for all other living creatures present on this planet earth which depends on uh, plants directly or indirectly to survive okay plant kingdom characteristic features if you take most of the plants are eukaryotic and uh, chlorophyll containing organisms they okay they contain chlorophyll the cell walls of the plants are composed of cellulose and they have the ability to grow by cell division means advanced uh, cells are present uh, eukaryotic cells are present in these plants then in the life cycle of the plant cells uh, the interchanges occur from the embryos and are supported by other tissues and uh, self produce okay the more about this plant kingdom we are going to discuss in the next session okay children thank you for watching our video have a good day